Hi guys, in today's lesson, we're learning about the process of pewter casting. This is a casting method with liquid metal that we do at a brazing hearth in school in year eight. Also something you could do as part of your GCSE and it could come up in your exam. So we'll take you through the steps of the process and hopefully it's helpful. I know you're thinking, where did I get all this drip from? This is PPE, personal protective equipment, as I've talked about in a previous video. And because I'm gonna be working with hot metals, I am wearing leather. Fire retardant, apron, gloves, and a visor. Let's go. When you're doing any kind of casting, you need to start with a mold. In school, we create our molds using a laser cutter in three millimeters MDF. We then place it into a jig. A jig is a piece of wood that's used to guide the position of cutting or casting of something for a repetitive action. So in this case, we've got three sections that are the exact right size for three students' work. That then gets sandwiched together between two layers and you'll see crucially at the top, there is a well for pouring in the pewter that's wider than the three millimeter point. The material we use is called pewter. Pewter is an alloy with a very low melting point. It consists of tin, about 85 to 99% tin, antimony, copper, and sometimes bismuth. Here you can have a look at the brazing hearth. This is the piece of machinery we'll be using to create our pewter cast. Effectively, you've got three areas. You've got a jewelry blowtorch on this one that's smaller and more detailed. You've got a larger blowtorch over here on the right-hand side. And in the center, you've got a chip forge. So I've cut a section from the ingot now of pewter, and you can see I'm heating it fairly aggressively with the blowtorch. You control the blowtorch with both gas and air, very much like a Bunsen burner. Uh, and you need to make sure that the blue tip of the flame is the area that heats it. You'll notice I'm heating it in a ladle here. The ladle's made out of cast iron because that's got a considerably higher melting point than pewter does, and it wouldn't actually be able to be melted using this blowtorch. It needs to reach approximately 250 degrees, so no hotter really than your oven at home. And then I'm gonna be carefully moving it over to my mold and pouring it in when it's maintained that heat for a while and stayed in a liquid state. Now, after approximately 10 minutes of cooling, I can bring it over to a table and remove the outer part of the jig to reveal my completed pewter cast. This just needs filing and polishing to get a really fantastic finish.